the more heartache on the way for Her Majesty the Queen. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you once again for joining me. And it's a sort of a sad royal story today, simply because you could really be given for thinking how much more can Her Majesty the Queen truly put up with? We recently had to go through Megxit and Prince Harry going international on television saying what a terrible time he had growing up with his genetic pain amongst all those palaces, millions and servants. Must be so tough, don't you think? But now, of course, then Her Majesty the Queen earlier this year lost her beloved husband, His Royal Highness Prince Philip. And then, of course, the ongoing battles and troubles for her son, His Royal Highness the Duke of York, Prince Andrew. Does it ever stop for the 95-year-old monarch? Well, apparently not, simply because now we can tell you first here on the show, as of next year, we can look forward to, so far, five unauthorised biographies on the life of her late husband, Prince Philip. Now, the reason why there's such interest in Prince Philip is simply because he was a much respected and well-loved member of our British royal family here. But also he had something of a life. And a lot of rumours, scandals, all that sort of thing have been kept under wraps, or so they say, for many years. We're not here to comment. But now, of course, that sadly he's left us, it does leave it open for people to speak openly about their times with him. And I suppose really what they're trying to say is set the record straight. Now, Prince Philip himself was very clever at batting away any scandal or any unsavoury things that he didn't wish to discuss. We've seen him many times, of course, put his foot in it, and we now know that he was one of the most outspoken members of the British royal family, truly saying what he thought if he was bored rigid in a particular event. But it does seem really cruel at 95 years old for Her Majesty the Queen to have to basically wait for an onslaught of books about many of the things I'm sure she truly knows herself inside, but obviously doesn't wish for them to become public. The difference being, of course, is we live in this digital tell-all world and so many people, sadly, want to reveal all about that particular person to make a fast book. As ever, we wish our gracious Majesty the Queen the very best moving forward for the future, whatever troubles she may now have to face. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.